Welcome again to Good Brothers for Living World Podcast. It's so good to be back. Uh, our last episode, we were talking about uh, various things uh, in the way of relationships and, and things like that. So um, I'm proud to introduce my co-host, Charlie Mack, and I'm Hoopy. Got the fellas in here, Mahershal and uh, Young GP, Gabe Pruitt. And, um, you know, we're going to chop it up and see uh, some of the things that's been going on lately especially with these two young brothers, uh, simply because uh, they got a lot to really share. And so, you know, put your seatbelts on and, and let's get ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna turn it over to my brother them. Shout at y'all for a minute. Hey, I'm just here today, guys. I'm just showing my face. We got the special guests in the house, so we're gonna go ahead and um, direct everything towards them. I'm just the bystander today, guys. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's just kind of jump right in. Um, you know, Mahershal, I know and understand that, you know, you have launched from an athletic foundation that led you across the waters. You know, we, we chopped it up before about how your uh, athletic uh, career began. And then it took you overseas, out of your element, way into a, a different, you know, uh, I would say across, you know, across the country, it's totally a different atmosphere, you know. And so uh, just kind of tell us, you know, what that was like uh, before we, you know. Well, growing up, I, I think that, you know, growing up, you know, in, in the city of Los Angeles, and especially we all from South Central, men from South Central, it already put fighting. It already put, yeah. like, somebody that just wanted just, man, look, man, I got to go get some money. I need to go figure it out. And yeah. I need a tool to go do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And guys like my one of my close childhood friends right here, We've been knowing each other since we was like kids, like right, three yeah. or four or five years old. Yeah. And then we maneuvered around the world and played on different AU teams and just had fun with the game. So I look at things like more like, you know, he was my he was also like my, my fight too as well. Like yeah. he, he would hoop and I would wanna hoop. That was just right. it was just A and B. Right. right. You know what I mean? Even if I didn't see him for two or three weeks, he'd be like, Hurst, let's just get to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I love about his spirit. You know what I mean? Right. He was never a guy to be like, oh yeah, man, I ain't trying to know. Nah, we going, we gonna walk to UCLA from Western. Oh, so basically, you guys was two the hard way. Yeah, it was. It was, just, <laughs> it was two deep. Two the hard way. It was two deep, but right. see, nobody else really knew because he's a silent creeper. Oh, okay, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like yeah, he he yeah. hit me on the, he hit me on the phone like, yo, Hirsch, check this out. Hey man, meet me over here. I meet him. Then we would just go and just do our thing at a nice gym. He always yeah. had a nice right. office. Yeah, right. You know what I yeah. mean? So right. I was right. like, we're good. Work, yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, okay, I see his get out. So I said, I'm just going to try it. Whatever he got going on, that's him. Right. But I just want to be next to somebody that's more positive. He was positive in the hoop, and he was a grinder. So oh, I, yeah. I put those two together, and I, and I, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate him. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, now in my life, you know, that kind of stirred me on when he went to the NBA and stuff. You know, I wanted to be next to my boy. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted right. to be next to him every single day. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? But I also got a life, too. Yeah. You right. get what I'm saying? And being a homeboy, I could be the homeboy. Right, right. But right. then right. I got to be her rehearsal, like, okay, I got to go get my degree. Right. I got to go do this. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know, nothing's handed, really. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I got to. Right, figure this out, man. Yeah. Look, man. Did you finish? Did you get your degree? I got my degree in teaching. And, oh, nice. You, you know what I mean? And I went to an institution in the Middle East, Texas. Okay. And we won a championship, so I am a champion. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. So so it's all good. Well, it's good. But it's I did good. a college champion yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't... I, <laughs> So I didn't get the NBA So that. what did you major in? What was your major? Teaching. Okay. Teaching. Okay, good. Teaching. So I got it there. And I just felt like, you know, that was that was something that God... It was... God put it put in my life where the school was near Louisiana. Okay. You know, but we played like our exposition games, we played D ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you know, we had a dorm room. We right. good. Yeah. But it wasn't catered. It was right. more like right. he said wasn't catered. We had two <laughs> we had two we had two hallways. Man, Hurst, you gotta get to it. You don't know no none of these wow. guys. Right. Yeah. You from the city. Right. These dudes is country. These dudes from the country. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to adjust my mental like okay. man, I'm used to dealing with G. Okay. All everybody league in my camp. Right. And now I gotta go down and do this but take the bite. Right. So you got Outside, on the outside. Right. Yeah. So right. I'm like, cool, whatever, man. So I used to get targeted a lot. I'm like, look, check this out, man. If y'all came to LA, you know, <laughs> we already know. <laughs> yeah, like, well, you know away, you got we already you know. know. <laughs> be, be, yeah. yeah, you know. So I just look at it like more like when I was when I was in my after my college after I graduated, I kind of hit a, I hit a wall. I was trying to figure out in my mind where do I go. Right. 
Yeah. And, I, and my boy was already on, and I know he only could do so much because he got a big heart. Right. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, okay, Hurst, you got to figure it out. Right. So I, I blanked out and hit a wall, and I'm like, you know what? This is when I'm going to do the lockout hit. Okay. When the lockout hit, I'm still searching. I'm like, man, I don't want to go this agent, that agent. But I already know my boy got top agent. So I'm like, I, I was kind of not nervous to ask him, but I'm like, I ain't trying to get up in your mix. Right. That's right. your deal. Right. That's your get out. You yeah. know what I mean? But right. I want to be with the working out and stuff. Right. That's cool. We can yeah. grind. But I never, I never felt like I wanted to be a burden on one of my homeboys. That's, that's give me a success. That ain't my heart. That's that ain't good. how I get that's out. Good. That's so good. I, that's a matter. That's a matter of love I got for him right. and whoever right. he's dealing right. with. Right. And then if he want to bless me and be like, look, right. Hurst, shit, I ain't giving you no money, right. but I want to give you an opportunity yeah, right. to get open it, the door, for open the door, and I do the rest. I'm, I'm with yeah. that life. That's you know good. what I mean? And I can adjust in that. You right. get what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. So you know, he was going through his yeah. journey, and I was going through my journey, and I felt like, you know what, man, at the end of the day. It's love over here, and I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do no matter what, yeah. and, and I'm going to try to win. Right. So I just took a ball in the bag and just went overseas. Oh, got wow. you. You pushed your own way. Yeah. You know, you, you know it's, like, it's like entrepreneurship. Yeah. You know, you had a vision, and you pursued it yeah. to the best of your ability, but it took courage to do that. I was scared, but I wasn't going to say I was scared. Yeah. You know, because I'm going 20 hours on a flight to China. And then these other 17 countries I did, I took a ball in the back. So I was my own agent. Yeah, yeah. But I was, you know, some nights I couldn't get in a hotel. Yeah. Some nights I had to sleep in the office. Oh, wow. yeah. Some nights I had to, you know, do certain things. But I wouldn't call him and tell him. Right, right, I don't right. want him worried. I'm right, like, yeah. let me finish the marathon. Right, yeah. Then once I'm done, yeah. then let's conversate. Exactly. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? If I got to see you in another country, okay, yeah. cool. Let me complete the mission first. Damn, then good. I'll get but I can't talk too much to him already talking because I'm feeling it and I'm right. grinding. No, right. I want to just make sure that. When I hit my boy up, because I felt like he gave me a chip. Right, right. And the chip was, hey, Hurst. He, not gonna, he was quiet. He ain't going to say, oh, Hurst, go do this, go do that. No, that ain't his get out. Right, 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 right. You get what I'm saying? I can respect that from a real one. You right. know what I mean? And he helped a lot of these guys throughout Los Angeles that they can't acknowledge that. Oh, yeah. Trust he put me, a I, lot of people in position. Trust me. Yeah, I, I, and I see it. Trust me. But I can't really go in. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, listen, man, yeah. he's a guy. Yeah. He's pretty good, okay? Yeah. So just, everybody jump in the lake and, you know, and let him do his stuff. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's and that's just like fair this. game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I look at things like who is going to win in the long run. Right. right. Not who's going to win right now. Right. You know what I mean? That's cool to win right now. Yeah. But what you going to do when we, yeah. you know, I got a 96-year-old grandfather. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. He loved at it. Wow. Right. You know, keep wow. moving. Y'all too y'all too deep. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 96. I play in the Bible and I go every day. You know, it's on that spirit. So it's kind of like I look at that when I'm out in the outside world. I know who's real. Right. right. I, I know who's not. Right, right, right. But I may put on an act. Let's, let's swing it like this. Yeah. You know, you you started in the inner city. Mm -hmm. your, your, your goal was to develop as a student athlete. You were able to go off. To college, you had to go in through the back door. The back right? door, but it paid off because at the end of the journey, you're where you are now, and that has strengthened you uh, to push forward. I now, feel like I um, feel like right now, I'm not at closure, but I'm at peace. Of course, I mean you st your journey is still going. It's, still it's not. Going. It's not. It's not at the end. Now, with you, Gabe, um, you know, and this is Gabe Pruitt, uh, L.A. native. Um, you know, I'll let him, you know, share uh, some of his background. I'm not going to go into his story. But I know just from afar, being uh, a former coach and trainer and being in that industry, hearing your name uh, and seeing you as a small, young fella, uh, you know, back in those days and noticing as a, as a young adult, a coach, man, this guy has something special. This guy has something that you're, you're, you're not going to be able to teach. And it's crazy because, you know, my brother can, you know, attest to this. When you're small and you're with your peers and you recognize no matter how much you don't want to, you know it's a guy out there that's better than everybody. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know number 12 over there yeah, on that he, certain yeah. he that dude is bad. You know the ones that's shining and you know the ones that's not. Yeah. Well, you were like that. When I came into that gym to, to see you, Marcus, I didn't even know everybody was looking at him, but looking at little Marcus Williams and, and little LB, and uh, I think it was little Corey. 
Corey, I think he went to Palisades eventually because he was a little younger. Corey counts. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. so I'm watching these. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching these guys. So, tell us how your journey started. Let it, let the people know pretty much where you're from and how your journey started. Well, I'm born and raised in South Central, uh, Gage and Normandy. Oh, we was right down the street. Yeah, we oh, were. was on Gage and Butler. Yeah, oh. we I went to Butler. I know. Yeah, we, we did too. too. <laughs> <laughs> we did too. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. they had a basketball team. They had oh, John Mira was always good. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, you know, like growing up, um, <laughs> we're in and out of homes and stuff like that. Growing up, I did stay in a shelter for a minute. Oh wow. My dad couldn't stay with us, and oh, that was wow. having to be in Whittier. Okay. So my dad would come every weekend to come see us. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Once a week. That's great. So we stayed there for about a year. Um, and then we ended up getting like a, a voucher to go move to West LA. Okay. So we uh, moved to uh, right next to um, where the, um, where UCLA is, right by the, uh, what's the building? The federal oh, the federal building. building. Yeah, oh, like okay. on Veterans. Westwood, right there. Westwood. Yeah, right Westwood. across the street where those apartments are. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. There used yeah. to be trailer homes. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, so Salvation Army. Wow. I didn't know we that. there. Right? Okay. That's so when I, wow. we left the shelter in Whittier, okay. they moved us to the trailers over there. So oh, they, wow. had, they had a little uh, light pole. Uh -huh. With a, um, a, a backboard and a, a cord tied up to to the pole, oh, and wow. this big old um, <laughs> cement thing, so we okay. could jump so, up and do right. it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I never played. I played <laughs> baseball. <laughs> for yeah. Oh, my uncle, that's good. my uncle played wow. for the A's. Oh, okay. So growing up, I okay. Him, so I started playing big baseball. Big game, shout the big game, wins, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hold up, so he he him being um, a in baseball, baseball player, that's right. where I was going to try to take oh, okay. after. Okay. So when um so going back to when I was in Westwood, um, I used to play every day because that's the only thing we had was the basketball right, right there. Right. So I used to play every day. It was just fun to me. All the kids in the little in the complex used to come out and wow. play. I saw a, a poster that um, on the on the pole and it said tryouts for the, the park over there. Okay. The game. So I walked over there by myself, signed up. Play the team. This, this is the time we had. I was uh, I was young. I was probably like fourth or fifth grade. Oh, wow. Okay. So we played like seven foot rounds. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven yeah. foot oh, rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. feet. Yeah. So right, I'm right, playing right. with a coach named John Fisher who had um, uh, hoop masters. Okay. Oh, I remember hoop masters. Hoop masters. Hoop masters that yeah. I had a game that that weekend, and he happened to be there watching the, the, the games, and I had a good I had a good game that day, and he after the game he came to me and asked me like. Where's my parents? My, and they were they were actually at the home. I right. walked across the street there. I'm like, oh, they're across the street. He's like, just take me to them. <laughs> right. You know, so right. I that took point. him across the street, knocked on the door. My parents came out. He chopped it up with them, told them the situation, ended up playing for Hoop Masters. Wow. wow. So wow. I went to yeah. Hoop Masters, gave me that full ride. Oh, wow. And that okay. from there, from from that day the until road. oh he John got John was the one that got me right. Like, really? Wow. Right. So he kind of mentored you that he whole time. Me, he was like, like a father figure and everything. Definitely a father wow. figure. Like I, wow. I, like we practiced at like 10, 11 o'clock. Okay. But he would pick me up every day. I'd be there at seven. Wow. And I'd practice with every team. Wow. And then work and then, out and then work and out then, with your team. Wow. During breaks, I'm playing one on one against him. Wow. That's every. That's. Monday through Friday, Monday, Monday, Monday through Monday. Really? Wow. Every day. So I'm wow. all basketball. So you sleeping in a gym. Wow. Basically. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 And this I'm, guy, was, sleep, was, this guy is in a gym. gym. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and Dude, I was in love with it. Like, like, like why? Right. I couldn't stop. I couldn't, couldn't get stop. away from it. Wow. So all I was thinking is basketball. It, it, like, I never wow. said I wanted to go to the NBA. Right. I just did it because it was fun to me. Right. Right. You know? So So just working like, and then when I was working out and just seeing the progress that I was making, I used to, that made me feel good. It motivated you. was chasing that. Like, oh, shit, I could do better than that. Yeah. Wow. So that's why I stayed in the gym 24-7. Wow. 24-7. Wow. So I built, I built that, that routine, whatever. So I played with John for a couple years. He always had me play. I always played two years up. Oh, wow. You had to two years up, but to get better. So he always had me play with the older kids. Yeah, until I got to my grade, what, high school or middle Right, and you got to I got to play, but up until then, from always I always played two years up. Wow, wow. So I ended up meeting, playing against ARC, met Ed White, talked to my dad, and I'm switching teams. Um, he's the one actually got my agent with Sam Goldfeder. Oh wow! Okay, okay, he, okay. He, uh, 
Okay. He got me with that guy. Early so. connection. Early oh, connection. So Relationship so already. So exactly. so he's, and he's actually my godfather. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, wow. So every wow. weekend he stayed wow. by UCLA and Beverly Hills. So every weekend I'm this kid coming from Dayton, Normandy, staying with him. Wow. Uh, uh, every crazy. weekend. With his oh, that's you know, he, so he actually introduced this, me to these guys. So basically wow. I, I was working out every week because school, I, I I never dished. I, like, really? I never dished. Oh, I didn't, man. Wow. So you was a good kid. I was a great kid. Yeah. Basketball was only... That yeah. was really? All That's some about. great discipline. Wow. So I never I thought about dishing. I didn't get in trouble. Really? I'll probably wow. act out a little bit. Yeah, but like every kid yeah, do. I wasn't... I never got in trouble. Never wow. got suspended. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's nothing. great. Yeah. So... Yeah. So uh, on the weekends, then, that was my, like, getaway. Because I was going to Bel Air. Right. Wow. Wow. That's why I had my own room. In, where it's really? Where go there. Get pampered wow. there. So... Long story short, you're meeting all these different people or whatever. So, fast forward to uh, going to high school. At that time, Robert Icard. Uh, yeah. You know, he was, I remember uh, I was playing for Robert Icard. Yeah, I remember Icard. And um, he told me he had a... Uh, oh, and I had a school game. And um, uh, my coach, Cooper, at the time, he was telling me, like, hey, I got the school coming in. The coaching staff is coming in to come watch you play. Wow. And it was Centennial. Wow. Oh, so, <laughs> Rob Palmer. Palmer. I played against the Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. really? Yeah, man. Yeah, we played. We played. Rob's nice. Really oh, he used to play against us. We went to UCLA. Yeah, okay. He signed with UCLA. He's smooth. Smooth. Like he. So they came to the game. I had a. I had a real good game. Real good game. Real good game that game. And he came to me after the game and said. Uh, Eric Alvarez, he was. Uh, yeah, with, I he remember was, Alvarez. He, uh, he was a senior, so he was leaving. So uh, he told me, he said, um, if you come to our school, you can be our starting point guard. Wow. Wow. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Say no more, huh? We're losing our guy. You can fill that yeah. spot. I didn't care what school Ninth grade. Really? Ninth grade. Starting point guard. Told me I could Varsity. start. And coming in. Varsity? Varsity. Varsity. This is that I was unheard, that's unheard of when we were. That was team, unheard of. I'm playing. I'm playing in a game my eighth grade year. Wow. The might have been playing because I, I had 65. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I had 65. First of all, wow. I, 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 I keep I, telling you, the like, hands on. No, no, no. He <laughs> he I ain't gonna lie. He made average 60. In middle school, in middle school, in middle school you average 60. No, no. See, I went to say Eugene. Say Eugene. We was a powerhouse. Yeah. We were. Right oh, like Ray, 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 Sean Reed, shout out to Ray. Ray, Ray was my point guard. Really? Ray Reed? Ray, 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 they couldn't do nothing with us. Ray Reed and Jason <laughs> Kinney we were two first high school games. We had cement chests. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my first high school game against Ray Reed and Jason McKinney. Wow. At Inglewood. At Inglewood. And we beat them. I saw them. I wow. Saw this. Yeah. And this is when Jason McKinney was doing his uh, Kobe cousin doing that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what he did. Yeah. 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 my first game. Wow. Wait, yeah. if you had 65, sir, I mean, I got to respect that. You know, yeah. maybe. He said he was averaging 50 in the middle So, so, so let's, 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 let's fast good. forward. Let's fast forward. You had this unique high school career, though, because you had so much momentum coming out of your sophomore year. I mean, we all knew as coaches, local coaches, trainers, that you would be a McDonald's All-American. This is this is what we're thinking because you had already went at uh, back east. You were on a high AAU circuit. You were already playing against your peers who were ranked, you know, from New York and in the South. But then they didn't let you play as a junior. You transferred. How did, how did all that happen? So, <laughs> So I did the two years at Centennial. After my sophomore year, I'm pretty sure I've been at campus Centennial. Centennial. Yeah. Half of the campus burnt down. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. like, hey, oh, no, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. riots, shootouts, yeah. everything. I've seen a lot of stuff at that school. But anyway, yeah. um, so after the end of my, end of my sophomore year, they lost their accreditation. Oh, that's right. They that's sure right. did. They lost yeah. their they sure right. took it from me. Yeah. yeah. And so okay. me and Aaron was there. Right. Aaron, Aaron was there. Apollo. And um, so my dad, uh, when that when the word got out that they lost it, Westchester got involved. Oh. They started chopping in with my dad and all that stuff. And so I was like, hey, I'm going. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. <laughs> okay. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Okay. I'm rolling. Okay. So I got Aaron you. decided to stay. But as soon as, soon as I decided to leave, they got it back. They got it right back. They got it back. And I was already gone. It was gone. I remember going. I remember going. Yeah. 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 So. Because um, they kind of got it late, like in the, yeah, they in got the it summer. They got it late. Like, it, like, was it was like, like, like it was yeah, the summertime. Fall was pretty because much right there. If they never, lost, I would have been at Centennial right. all the time. You would have stayed, stayed at Centennial right. all the time. Wow. And, and, I mean, you have so much momentum. And, and if I would have stayed at Centennial, I probably would have been at UCLA. Wow. 
Wow. Well, I mean, no doubt. I mean, you definitely. Me and you know, Eric for sure would have went. The only reason why I didn't commit to UCLA because Jordan Farmer committed first. Oh, oh did he? He committed you. first, so I ended up going to West. I mean, USC. USC. Okay. But still um, a great school. Yeah. So they, and this is and um, this is why what kept me on course focused because so when I left um, Westchester, I mean Centennial, went to Westchester. I had to sit out my junior year. Yeah, but, I remember. But I don't. A lot of people don't. I'm, don't probably don't know, but I committed to USC as a junior, right after my sophomore year. As a sophomore year, that's, that's, sophomore year? that's killing. Verbal, that was, that was, that was, that was, he verbal, verbal commit. Verbal. He okay. kept his Henry word Bibby, on. Henry Bibby came to Gage and Norby and sat in my my. Did room, he really? That was my, my guy. Dad Henry Bibby and my, my mom guy. and said, "I got a scholarship for you right here. What you gonna do?" I didn't even think about. You that. wasn't supposed to. <laughs> You're not supposed to. No, that was so. That was, was another Normandy. So that was another one for me. Like that's why I wasn't really about not playing. playing it don't matter. Junior, because I'm like, hey, you know, you I'm already think? committed to my college. You know what I mean? You know, so I wish I was that happened. Then Amir comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I couldn't, I couldn't get the playoffs in my senior year or whatever. Yeah. So uh, like I said, I signed. I was signed, I signed up to Excel Sports. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was I was with work I was Jeff Schwartz, but I was dealing yeah, with Sam, Schwartz. Yeah. Sam yeah. Goldfeder more. He was my my no, your direct guy. Yeah. And um he put me through give me my trainers. That's when I was training with the Hales trainer in San Francisco. Okay. Um okay. he had me with this guy named Robbie in Santa Monica that got a lot of guys. So I was I was getting right. So, but yeah. at the time, like so let me just go back for a little bit. When I was saying I was all basketball. Um I was just so locked in in basketball that I wasn't getting the real life shit. It, oh, not real okay. life shit as far as like like taking care of yourself, right. taking care of certain shit. Right. Okay. okay. Like, you know, okay. putting stuff in order, prioritizing. Right. Right. Yeah. It was just basketball. Right. Nothing so, with basketball. Nothing with basketball. Right. So when it got time, so when I got to Boston, um, I had a lady that used to take care of me. My mom used to make sure, you know, I was right, right. whatever. Right. So once I got overseas and it was real life hit, I didn't know how to adjust. Wow. Right. But and, I, and it took me, I'm about to be 35 right. in April. Right. I, it, pro it probably took me about, till I was like 27, 28, to really feel like a man. A man, like, yeah. like I gotta yeah. start, yeah. I gotta hold on, I, I, I gotta started, take yeah. care of some right. shit. Like, right. you know? yeah. yeah. Because yeah. the whole time, I didn't, my mind, it took, I, I, I was so, I hit, I hit, you were just pressure. locked in. Locked in, like, yeah. and I didn't know nothing. Nothing but else mattered. Right, right. But basketball. Well, he, yeah, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped. Not, well, I, I played in Mongolia and, and, um, Mexico, I got hurt. Okay. okay. Um, and then when I went to, I got, I was in Mexico, got hurt, tore my bicep, came home for a week uh -huh. to rehab. Then I went to Mongolia. Okay. Terrible. No pay. It, it was basically like pay open gym. No, 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 no. No, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. no, no. Oh my God. Mind you, <laughs> mind you, I just got off a, a twenty-hour flight. Twenty-hour flight. As soon as I get out, they pick me up. They take me to this little the owner's restaurant to okay. get some food. Right. Then take me right to the gym to play. Ten five seconds because they told me if I came. <laughs> so this is the last yeah, day of the season. Ferrari, so I came. Ferrari. I came only to be in the playoffs. Really? Okay. So I came. They had a game that night. So okay. he's telling me I'm eating. I'm thinking I'm gonna chill for the night. I'm gonna go to bed. Huh? <laughs> they took me to the gym and said you have to play at least. You have to play a couple seconds. Okay. To qualify. Okay. For the okay. 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 I'm like fresh off. So I did that. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> didn't get paid like I'm supposed to. I only got paid once. This and that. So I stopped. I didn't play. Wow. Two months, I'm sitting in a hotel. I'm in Mongolia. In, my, in Mongolia, I'm wow. sitting in my apartment for two. My, if, you, if you ask my dad and my two homegirls <laughs> I used to call every day, they'll tell you I was in there sick. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Depressed. 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 Yeah, I, 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 Depressed. Wow. So I finally, I finally make it home. Then you make it home. <laughs> I finally make it to, to home. And Back to the United States. United States. Right. And I'm like, my mind is so fucked up. It's like, I don't even want basketball. I, right. Nothing. You don't even want to think basketball. Nothing. Right. Wow. Right. Nothing. Right. And, it, and, and like I said, like, I didn't stop. I stopped. Like I said, the way I stopped, I could have did it better. Right. Right. But it's just like, I was just content. Like, you know, I was like, what more can I live? Like, I didn't ask for this stuff. Right. It just, right. I, it just, I, just kind of landed in, in your lap. Right. Right. So it, it's like. I had I had tons of fun. I've done yeah, everything. So like that's why I was I be talking to him all the time. Like, yeah. dude, I'm cool with like, like basically up. the average guy at 35 hasn't haven't lived the life you exactly. live at 35. Yeah. Exactly. The average 35 exactly. year old. Yeah. Exactly. So I see guys now just want to do you know certain things. It's like man, we passed that. Been there, done, done that. that. Like, yeah, that's right. not you know. It, wow. it, but like I said, um, wow. 
I had my run. How yeah. long? <laughs> had, run. How long were you on the Boston Celtics? Two years. Okay, you did okay two, two years. years. Yeah, did, yeah, 2007, 2009. So, what kind of experience was that being on the Boston Celtics with, you know, some some professional athletes and all? And also, he was on a team with some stars. Yeah. Well, let's shout out to Big Baby. Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like he was a lot of fun. You know, oh, he kind of reminds me of Shaq. Let me tell you something. He would love you. He would love you. No, no, let me tell you something. No, I know he would love because he loved me. I, I, he, he would love you. He's at the camp. He's at the camp. And oh, Jordan, he came to Jordan camp. He's at the Jordan camp. And Michael was teasing him all the time about because he's a big guy, but he's not a he's not a six eight guy. He's a he's like a six five guy, but he's got a big body. But he got a big body. Right. But he's just very agile. He's a nice guy though. Yeah, you can tell. And he's, he's a, a super yes. down to earth dude. Yeah, that's exactly he's a gentle he giant. He is. You he's can a tell. Michael you Jordan loved him. Did he? Michael Jordan loved him. Oh, well, he's a good guy. Michael loved him. Because Michael don't don't really. And he like guess who else he likes? Guess who else he likes? Scalabrini. I like Scalabrini. Hey, Scalabrini's a fan favorite. I love Scalabrini one on one. Never beat him. Of course he didn't. No, he didn't back me in. Oh, he didn't. He just shot him. Come on out here, little fella. <laughs> Get this wetter. <laughs> really? Oh, man. I played him. Bozeman played him. I ain't gonna lie to you. Scott Yeah, he could. Stace. Oh, That's yeah, my yeah. guy, right? So I used to work Stace out at oh, the Stacey campus. Bozeman. Yeah, Bozeman. I used to yeah, work him out yeah, at the yeah, campus. Yeah. So we would play ones. I never beat him, dude. Scalabrini, Scalabrini is a good guy. Jordan liked him. No, never beat him. Straight good guy. Scalabrini is perfect yeah. for what he's doing. Yeah, Scalabrini is a good guy. I think Big Baby, if he had stayed being the kind of a role player that he was, and he should have like really embraced that more, he probably would have lasted in the league. Well, I, mean, I think also he he just probably he you know c- certain coaches loved him, right? And I don't think that a lot of other a good, coaches wasn't a good fit for him. Yeah, they didn't they didn't really but have that. Doc loved him. I know oh, yeah. Doc loved him. It was, it, it, he had because he had a, he was on a program where his weight he had to be right. certain pounds, right? But. Well, baby, this is why I said shout out to Big Baby because okay. you know you got rookie hazing and shit like that. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I heard about that. Only thing I did was I had a backpack that carried all the extra essentials. That oh, I got you. Had. I already. Yeah. I already but know. Yeah. Big Baby, <laughs> you say no more. Uh, he wanted all the attention, so if we came, like we went to we had a training camp in uh in, in London. Okay. Called. We having a dinner with the, all the, the whole team, the execs, everybody. everybody. And we didn't know. We just said we having dinner. Next thing you know, Doc stand up and say, "Hey, all the rookies, get up here." <laughs> we get up there. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we, they, they, we had a scene. They made a scene, so we. Oh, shit. Man, man. So they said, <laughs> "Paul, you're, get your crazy." Paul, he, uh, Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Okay. <laughs> he yeah, yeah. Out, like, He's nah, cool. Nah, 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 nah. That's nah. not my guy. Oh, he's yeah, not my guy. <laughs> yeah, he ain't rolling. He ain't rolling with yeah, I see. Look at this guy, bro. So they Paul come up and tell us everybody like everybody all the rookies gotta shave their head. Oh man. Huh? Oh, oh, like that in college? Huh? So he said y'all gotta shave your head. Everybody, Shay, who is everybody? Shay, all the rookies. I wish somebody would tell me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell you straight. I'm check this out. I I like, hey. You can catch these bars. <laughs> 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 oh, boy, I got a squabble. Oh man, oh man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, he he a street dude. He's a street guy for real, for real. He he took care of me. Who? Yeah, I took care of him. Oh, okay, real, real. He was straight when he all his shit he need. I made sure he's cool. He always showed me love. That's my guy. Cool, cool, cool. Same thing. Oh, I don't like him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, he yeah. He, and he's a vet. vet. Great Rondo. Rondo. Yo, Perk. Rondo. Oh, yeah. Rondo? We got on with Rondo? 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 That was like best in high school. Really? You played Rondo. against Rondo in high school. Okay. When, when, when he came back to LMU. Yeah, yeah. LMU. Yeah. 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 It was all. Look, later on. Later on. Hey, later on. Let me tell you. We call him dope. That's the game that we call him. Do, you really you don't call well, yeah, me. I remember that hurt. Like, like recently, like, like, I was like, "Gee, I was like, like these two girls. <laughs> put him on the phone. Man. Put him on the phone. That was the best go. But so going to the, my first year. So now uh, college is done. That was we didn't do too much there. Okay. Um, but NBA first year, I'm still learning the ropes. I'm there early, but like. I'm glad we do this because this is the first time I hear that. You get, get, you get, 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 really talk because I ain't, I'm, I ain't no 
that shit back anyway. Right. But, um, when I got to the Celtics okay. my first year, I wasn't grown yet. Really? You're still immature. You're still I'm good. Still immature. Well, you were kind of sheltered because of basketball. Yeah. So the Be, whole, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what going back to what I was saying earlier. All I was all basketball. I didn't right. get in trouble or nothing. Right. So when I finally got on my own, you didn't know. I that? started at SC. When I turned 18, I right. moved out. Went to SC. Mm -hmm. Lose. I had a car. Lose Cannon. I'm everywhere. Right. He said he didn't care no no better. Hey, 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 this dude car. I didn't start drinking. Hey, this dude car was. It was unbelievable. That's all I I'm gonna say. Smoke weed until I was like 28. Okay. okay. So I was a late bloomer. Right, right, right. You okay. know, so that was never a problem for me. Right, right, right. You, right, know, right. So definitely you didn't have those vices. Never, right. never. Right, never right, right. was that. So basically, you was like a square. A square. In a sense. I was a square. Totally square. From the hood. I was a square. A hood. Dude. Wow, wow. I was a square. Wow. Okay, I got you. So when I got to the Celtics, my mindset is like, well, shit, if I ain't gonna play it, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and party. So I was known for the <laughs> party. So everybody called me. On the road? Like, where's that? Oh, oh, my phone is non-stop. Wow. Because <laughs> I know you're going to find it. Or you already know where it's at. Non-stop. Wow. You know what time? You know what time? Like, Sometimes I'm like, damn, man. The math coach and I went too hard. I'm about to chill this trip. Right, right, right. 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 Ding, KG. Ding. What you doing, man? Stupid. Wow. Like, it's just, it, it just came. Right. You know? I got you. I so, got you. I got you. I got you. my time in the league, it was it was fun. I I learned a lot. Okay. I met, like, good guys. But... I wasn't ready for the league then. You wasn't okay. ready. That you know, it's it's, it's yeah. so important that you wow, even say that. Yeah. I wasn't ready. That's, that's yeah. good. You give it say and that. That's why I'm like, I don't regret nothing because you didn't because you, I learned. you didn't really I'm know what you didn't know how good you had it exactly until you it was all gone. You, and you didn't know what to expect because you didn't have these. Right now at 35, when you look back on it, you be like, man, I don't know how good I had it. If I would have been more mature, I might have still been in the league. Right, me and my dad. You didn't have those expectations. Not to cut you off. No, go ahead. Me and my dad. We was really, literally, my dad was with me the whole the whole time. Everywhere I went, every, uh, AAU, he's right, with me. Right, 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 right. Like, so we was basically learning together. Wow. So my dad didn't know shit either. Right. He, sometimes he was asking me, like, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> like, you so my you, dad, you're going to tell me. Pat Barrett. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, Pat yeah, Barrett. Yeah, yeah. The white, oh, I don't want to say white, but. Well, well he is a white boy. I was, <laughs> at, I mean, I was at SC. He had two agents that went to SC. Oh, man. Came, had a talk with me. Show me some love. I was yeah. put Nick. I put Nick on with this shit too because yeah, yeah. I was living good in college. <laughs> Trust me, we know. I was we know. Trust right, me, right. Dude, we so know. Nick, yeah. Nick was my roommate, so okay. he like off oh, camera. Right, 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 right. What's and up? then, and then Nick yeah, yeah. ended up going to the league because Nick is my guy. So yeah. when Nick called me, when he told me, he was like, nigga, like I really because I know Nick is into fashion. <laughs> yeah, like, oh like, man, game it, game it on that. He been like that. Them pants too tight. Oh, so he we don't roll that. like that. Those, we don't roll like that. Those haircuts. Yeah, funny haircuts. Hair 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 hair. We don't roll like that. He started that. Did he? Nick, oh, for Nick, sure. Did he? For I sure. remember. Did Nick he? had a. Oh, I remember sure. that. It was like a mohawk. Hey, he had a yeah. straight hey, mohawk. I remember. No game. Hey, I remember. Then he had the little, the little fro. Yeah. Mohawk with the little. Yeah, I saw him. Nick set trends. Yeah, I saw him fill up Fremont. Oh, 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 is, oh, I said, who I said, who am I? What do you say? Who? Nick Philomar. Oh, yeah, oh, you know what he's saying? You know what they He's not a Valley kid. He's L.A. No, he for no, sure. No, 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 but he's from West LA. Right. He's a mama's boy. Right. So okay. During the week, I'm by myself. Yeah. He just pull up on the weekend. That's when we do our little we go function or whatever. So he Pat used to come every week. And I, I, I got name drop. Oh, I know you don't have yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got name drop who used to come. But yeah, yeah. Every week I used to get that. Yeah. And I used to give. I used to get so good when I got it. I, I was like, hey. He knew his bitch was Hey, no. He, 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 he knew it. Hey, hey. Big guard knew his routine. He, he He's did. a big guard. So, so, <laughs> and that's his boy. Oh, oh, boy. He looking out. My, man, now, you know it comes with shit like that. Me, like I said. You ain't knowing. Know. You square. You I'm not, taking the money. But you sure. ain't knowing. I'm like, I'm I ain't never had shit. Though. Right. For sure. I can let, well, yeah. So, season's about to be over. It's like Latin, the later part of the season. Okay. Uh, oh, and it's my junior, so this is my, my last year. Oh, right. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't go back to my senior year, too, okay. by the way. But, so, Pat Barrett, he, uh, like, a week, a couple weeks before, he had these two agents from SC come and talk to me. So, I, they, I went out to Orange County, right. whole presentation. You know how they do. The, oh, yeah, they're going to have everything the, right. The, the, the posters, yeah. all highlights, all that shit. Oh, yeah. So, I'm talking to them. They, 
asking me to sign with him. Like, oh, I gotta talk to my dad. Right, 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 right. So we leave the meeting. My dad called me the next weekend, like, we got a meeting in Orange County with Pat, come with me. I'm not knowing what's going on. We right. pull up there, the same two guys. I went right. out to my dad, I'm like, I just talked to him last right, week. Right, 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 right. He had no idea. Right. Right. So we going through the whole thing. First of all, I didn't end up I didn't end up signing with them. Okay. Okay. Pat tried to get him for 20 bands. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, and he got back. We went to Atlanta off of that. We gotta get something. Oh, so, yeah. And see, my thing was, I didn't want to. The only thing I felt like I didn't want to question him at that moment yeah. because we both were both grinding, but I I don't have any money. Right. I'm low. I'm lost. Right. I'm with my boy. That's how I would. I'm, I'm low. I'm, 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 I'm from L. I'm down from the house. Yeah. Like, yeah. and we I, grind I together deal, every. Like, but we grind. We grind together every day. You know, like basically that's Listen, what it was. Yeah. He didn't call anybody. He <laughs> he called her. Well, I mean, you was boy. It's my guy. <laughs> yeah. And I got it. anybody touch yeah. him. We cracked it. Yeah, I, right. I forgot where I just left okay. off at. We got you. We got you. Pat Bear. Pat So Bear. he called Ed White. Back to Ed White now. Because mind you, I'm in junior in college. Yeah. Ed White was in eighth, eighth, seventh, eighth, eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. my god. He's just my yeah. godfather. So he called Ed. Ed's my. He was my CPA. Right. Had my money and stuff. So if you can you go give me this twenty thousand. I'm about to sue. I'm about to tell him. And da, 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 da. So I tell Ed, I'm like, Ed, don't give him. It's first of all, right, right. <laughs> don't give him my nothing. money. We said, right. don't give him. I said, right. I said, I don't owe him shit. Right, I said, right, he right. gave me cat. Is you know, right. yeah. I don't need this shit. Right. So, so he was so. gambling at a young age. Ed yeah. gave it to him. Out of my account, twenty bands. Wow. wow. So me and him kind of. Of course, because he, he not he worked for you. But I'm he wasn't doing what you sure said. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you something. It kind of worked out for the better. It because, did. It did. Because it your, did. your boy that got the Heisman, Reggie same Bush, thing, same Bush. thing happened. Somebody got he, a Heisman. If he would have took, took, took care of that dude, the dude would have just would have left him alone. He left him alone. And Reggie would have never had all that negative. He should just took and he had it. Yeah, he did. No, he for sure. He had it and then some. How you know is that? I know. Yeah. Matt Leiter came to school on Fridays okay. at twelve o'clock for an hour. No, for one class. No, yeah. just guess what? It, just give you give you one guess. What you think the class was? Um, uh, um, cooking. No, no, I got one. No, probably uh, um, 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 engineering. No, 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 no. Oh, no. He had a, it was an elective. He had an elective. Yeah. Yeah. Dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah, dance class. Look, this is how you knew Matt Leiter's coming on campus every Friday. The chips be everywhere. That that walkway where uh -huh. the Heisman were all the trophy Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That walk with Matt Lyon coming down, you just see a thousand cameras. Just Are you serious? Falling down Shut rocks up, and dude. shit, trying to follow him. Yeah. Just all the paparazzi. All the paparazzi. Wow. Yeah, saying some shit. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Damn, so that's so a now, bar. That, that, that's just remember. Now back to, so, yeah. I'm not, NBA, like I said, NBA is not on my mind. Yeah, I got you. Like, I don't right. have no time to. You're not even inspired to go to the yeah, NBA. Yeah, like, I'm not saying, I'm right. not my junior, I'm right. my senior. Right, right. Just playing, you just, like, you just having a good time. You being a kid. Yeah. And me and Nick came in together. We came in the college. We was like, I told him, I was like, hey, we came in together. We're we going to leave out together. Okay. So, yeah. obviously, our junior year, we beat Durant. We made it 316 and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. I had a good year. And Nick was like, I'm going. I knew Nick. First, before he told me, I knew he was going. Seriously? He was killing. I'm like, oh, Nick about to go okay. this year. Yeah. So, he <laughs> told me. He was killing that year. Oh, okay. was good. And he killed all of But that year, he that year was a good solidified year. it. Right. So, I'm like, I'm like. He about to go. I'm thinking in my head. Right. So he come and tell me, like, hey, I'm about to put my name in. Right. I was like, for real? I'm like, me too. I just said, hey, <laughs> like, me too. too. I was like, shit, me too, right? So, <laughs> so I got, I talked to Ed about it. <laughs> he plugged me with, with uh, Sam. Okay. Oh, so yeah. So Sam, Sam, so he, talk, he talked it up with me and whatever. He was like, all right, I'm going to get you some workouts with these teams. And then from the workouts, that you, you can know. let you know you right. can decide right. where you go or come right. back. Right, right, right. right. But my mo my whole mindset, I'm coming back. Really? Okay. Because I was well, you were enjoying your college. Experience. I was enjoying it, and then I got word because after the workout, okay, I got word that if I would have came up my senior year and I would have did what I was supposed what, to do, the, the, what I did the year before, right, 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 I was supposed to be Russell Pick. Oh, so I'm, like, I'm coming to I'm coming back. Wow. Right. What was he, the fifth, sixth pick or something? He was high. Like he was like, 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 so like, 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 like,
Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, work out. I said, like, all right, I was like, let me just work what out. Let me see, see, see what the team say. Right. I had like eight workouts. I had like eight okay. teams. Okay, okay, before. okay. And I came back to college. I mean, came back to school to tell my coach. Right. Because I didn't tell him that I was going to work out. I'm like, I didn't think it was no big deal like that. It's a big deal. <laughs> I wasn't. But, but, but you know deal. why? You know why? It was a big for deal. For them to recover. Them, right, right, was, it's only for them. I didn't think it was a big deal because I already knew I was coming back. Oh, so the whole time he's so, like, I'm going yeah, back. Yeah, I'm coming back, but I was okay. doing it. Like, okay. I didn't tell nobody okay, I was coming okay. back. I was like, I'm I knew I was coming testing. back. Okay, okay. So me and my dad came after my, all, all the work was over. Right. Uh, me and my dad go have a meeting with Tim Floyd. Oh, man. I sit down Tim. just like Tim. this. Tim yeah. Floyd right there, me and my dad right here. He chopped He pissed. Your dad or Tim Floyd? Tim Floyd. Oh, I know pissed. who he is. Are you going in? What? I mean, you know, he's one of your best player. He is tripping. Right. Right? He's he tripping. But he's old school, too. No, for sure. He's old school. I, like, I still fuck with him. I call me a couple years later. Okay. Call me a couple years later to check on me and see how it was. But, I so he, uh, so he, um, he, we have a meeting. He tell me, this is what he tell me. Look, I, <laughs> I know, you didn't have to know, yeah. have to know oh, what, sure. what went on, what he said. Because it doesn't even matter what he said. Like, during the meeting, like, you know, what he said. What he said, when he said this, this is what I said. I, mean, I told my dad, I said, I'm out. Home. He said, so we had the meeting. He said, I'm not going to lie. Um, probably after this meeting, we're probably not going to be friends again. Can boys huh? say that? Told, Ooh, me, Tim, told me my dad that. He can ask my dad to this Well, day. he put some nigga up in it. He said, if we, he said after this meeting, we probably won't be friends again. So I'm thinking, because wow. rest in peace, my, my, my guy Ryan Friends that got tatted on me. Ryan Friends, yeah, shout out to Ryan friend. for rest in peace, yeah, Ryan Friends. Dwayne God, for, real, from Louisiana, he real. He Juco right. and from uh, yeah. oh, back wow. east. Oh, man. He's a, he's a, a Juco player, came in, they, they recruited him. Ryan Friends came in as a freshman. And I watched Tim Foy grab Shackleford and said, okay. hey, Shaq was good, too. He said, hey, Shaq. <laughs> Nothing against you, but we trying to groom Ryan to be our next point guard coming for the next couple of years. Right, so right. you're not gonna play that much. Well, at least he's being honest. So he told his man yeah. that. So come back to what my my situation. He told me we probably gonna be friends after this again. Guess who coming in next year? OJ Mayo. Oh. So I go. You ain't got no choice for this. Sit me down. Oh, he got no choice. I'm out. And fuck my whole career, man. I'm out. Uh, so that's why I left. Oh, you can't say that. But that's good oh, that he was up front and told you that. Exactly. That's why I left. Yeah. Oh, you, left. yeah. Oh, you, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. That's exactly wow. why I left. Well, you wow. had no choice. Had no if choice. you would have sat down, you would have been dead. Dead. You wouldn't have gotten. Because, like I said, I saw Shaq as my guy. Yeah. yeah. Shaq was like, damn, Shaq. That's, I didn't even know Ryan yet. Wow. Ryan was my best friend. I, before he passed away, I dropped him off the day before he died. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because OJ Mayo came to the airport the day for Mother's Day. Well, OJ was so he came to the airport. He was big time. He was really so high. Hey, you know he came with him. Hey, not with me. Hey, Brian Jefferson. Yeah, he did. Hey, Hey, look, look, it's not me. (laughs) I told him I don't like to be If we would have went with that slam, me, OJ. Davon, you can have fun. Todd Gibson, Daniel Hackett. Wow. That that squad was that squad was cool. That would have been. We for sure would have went. And Hackett. Hackett. And Hackett. Final four. Yeah. Hackett. That's yeah. right. Daniel yeah. Hackett, Hackett, left, Hackett. He left school early. Ties. He left hey, school early. Yeah. Ty's. Ty's. Hackett in Italy right now. Get yeah. to it. Well, he's from. He's born in Italy. Oh, he was born in Italy. He's a god. Because his dad went to Syracuse. Hey, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're bringing D. Hackett in here. It's all. D. Hackett love us. Because D. Hack didn't know nobody from Italy, from Europe. So he was like trying to, like, hey, look, let's hang out with Hersh and Gay. He wanted to hang out with us so much. He said, Tim Floyd said, you ain't gonna like me, we ain't gonna be straight up this. As we said, like, at least he was up, he, at least he was honest and let you know. And I appreciate that, that too. Yeah, because like, that, that made you say, you know what? That, I'm out. He was honest. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's my mind. And you would have went back, back. you would have been sick. But you guys were so good. You'd have been on the bench. You, No, no, he was And stuck. mind you, OJ, we OJ. just got the new arena. Right. Exactly. We just got the new arena, so I, of course no, I want to be OJ shined them, 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 them years he was well, there. Well, OJ was he already, did. he was already I'm telling you. a household name. He was basically the number one player. But he was telling him, he coming out, he's like, he's going to be out For me, I'm saying he was the second most hyped player after LeBron. He, oh he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was in the camp with LeBron. Yeah. And the he, was, like, he was mentored by LeBron. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was he was Ohio. But, but he was trying to play the was years. That true? Oh, he from Ohio. Ohio. He no, he's from West Virginia. Really, like, but really he went to Ohio. That's him with you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, was, that was his. Like, guy. I, I didn't I didn't believe it he took because it my boy my boy was there, so I didn't believe it. I didn't believe that. I need to see what was going on. Well, you know, the crazy thing is, but he look up. Here's the thing, OJ. I probably we don't have me and OJ. I look at OJ face to face, and he'll look at he'll be like, "Oh man, 
when it comes to gays. Gay was a god to him. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. So when I when yeah, I see I that, I'm like, man, I don't I don't want to hear that. And then he's a good dude. What's going he's, on? You know, he I, he's a great. Oh, dude. You know, you know. OJ, he was a humble giant, dude. He oh, was yeah, a, yeah, yeah, he yeah. wasn't yeah. caught up in all that. Yeah. The dude, the dude, been the number one player in this. But that's why I was surprised. That's why I was surprised when he said Jordan. No, no, who? Remember that? Yeah, I was shocked when he said Jordan because he wasn't that guy. He started saying Jordan. crazy. And then you look, and then that the reason, I think the reason man. why he really do fuck like, why he, he actually me, seen he it. He might not fuck me heavy like that, but he do fuck me because me and Bill Walker close. Oh, oh, oh so he was Bill in the bathroom when I took the show about the George. Oh, okay. hey, yeah. hey, he was he was a monster. It's a monster. Me and Bill Walker, hey, Bill Walker look, get a tip. I still talk to him. Heavyweight. No, I was on the court, the floor when OJ Mail and Jordan got into it. I was I was rapping. When he was talking all that shit, he called him a bitch. Yes, and Jordan. Jordan went. I want to hear that story. I really want him to break that down. Well, we gonna we gonna we gonna end it right here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, but but the, the the blessing thing is to understand that your transparency as it related to not being mature and ready for such a big big, big moment in my life. Exactly, man. But, but God man. still teaches us through lessons uh, in life through that experience because. I know you have awakened in a lot of areas sure. in your life. And then you can look back, like my brother was saying, you can look back on that and say, a lot of people at 35 have not experienced what you, oh and, my God. and then it's like with how you live. Yeah. And then, all these yeah. countries, all the stuff yeah. you've seen, all the, 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 the great you know players you played yeah, with. Man, you know, the, the kind of money you probably with. spent, the kind of chicks you probably hung out with. Right, definitely. A lot yeah. of people ain't never so that's the lesson. And, and that's the right reason there. why I was telling y'all, like, I'm content. Like, yeah. Oh, I can I, tell. Like, I don't, yeah, it's I so care. funny because I, I can tell. Like, I don't care it's about so, I don't It's so millions. funny because I can tell, though. I, like, I don't need millions. Like, I, I, like, I feel like I, I, I live in such a story. You live a dream. Period. I live a yeah. dream. That's so yeah. funny. I and, can tell that. And when you said that earlier, it took me back to my experience. I never dreamed of going to the NFL yeah, me, exactly. or the me either. Remember I was telling you, yeah, I was me like, either. I never. That was never my dream. I, I just love to play, I man. Love to play. Same me and him, we were natural. We just love to play. Me and this dude were gymnasts. We you were know? basketball. Mm-hmm. Football. Everything we touched, yeah. we were like, we were natural. We were yeah. self taught. Yeah. But nobody ever told us that you could, like, for you, we didn't nobody have ever told you. The reason why you never thought about the NBA because nobody ever told you how you could go to the NBA. It, it, right? Like nobody your dad, you. your mom, your uncles. Your, just nobody ever told you, you that. They just made you go to the You know, I want to go. They were the business. They were the business. That's what shouts about parents. Yeah, they let you. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't start making my bed. You serious? <laughs> no, that, that's good to say that though. Yeah, I'm serious. Like, for real, dog. Everybody, for shit. My, my mind to come to college and clean my shit. <laughs> 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 With my trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You was the man. <laughs> like, like I, said, my, I swear to God, my mom made my mom get anything from me. That's good my though. My mom made sure that I didn't have to do shit. Right. Were you only child? No. No, he is. Got, he got like six brothers. Three sisters and one brother. My dad got five other kids. No, Jay. Wow. He eleven D. He eleven D. That's why I'm saying. Dude, he eleven D. Dude, we in Boston one day. Hey, G. We in Boston one day. I'm like, homie, help me check this out. What's going on? He cracking. Oh. We gonna oh, have he cracked. We, we gonna have to do another podcast one day. Oh, about, for sure. Just, oh, strictly about Boston. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do hey, that. Hey, gonna do I that. swear to God, he gave me a cell phone. He said, "Hers." I can't handle this, man. It's cool, man. It's eleven people calling. What's happening? I was like, hey, "Hold up, homie." <laughs> he said, "Hold up, homie." We had, a, we had a routine in Boston, man. Every, what? It was, a, it was like we were really? in I'm, I'm coming. Was, we was in kindergarten. That before you leave. We were in kindergarten in Boston. Okay. Let me go. Let me go. Oh no! You, you, got, you, got, you got it. You got it. You got it. He only here for six days. No, I'm good. Hey, I, I, do I need to keep? Wait, 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 wait. Do I need to keep him longer? No, no, no he's, he's, he's good. We, we go. Oh, I'm just asking. I bet there's a bunch of heavyweights up in here. I got. I tell you that the boss is still. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come you know, yeah. thanks everybody for like, you know, tuning in. Thanks to our guest, uh, King Pruitt. This is a wild world, is a wild <laughs> world champion. <laughs> to my man, Mahershal. And uh, you got to bring that ring on the next one, man, so we can see that ring. This I got it. Hey, we're good. And to Charlie <laughs> Mack, our host, we just, uh, we appreciate you. Take a look at our social platforms. Again, shout out to the Coalesce Group for being our sponsor. We look forward to 
see you guys next time. Hey.